Are you frustrated with the progress that you're making or maybe even the lack of progress you're making, whether it be with dating or even your overall lifestyle? Well, today, we gonna fix that. What up, homie? My name's Dave, and I put out new videos every single Friday to help you get the girls you want and become the man you're meant to be. Today, we're gonna throw on a scoop of gear and get a little bit deep and talk about the lies that most guys might not like to admit that they tell themselves. And these are lies that pretty much every guy tells himself at one point or another. And hey, I've been there too. The difference is some men look past these lies and decide to push through them anyway, while other men let these lies define them, which makes them weak. Today, I'll reveal what these lies are so you can be that type of dude who moves past it. Let's get into it. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Tell them break it down. I so Wendy's in your town. Don't forget the dollar sign. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Tell them get in line. Hold it down. It can be really difficult to look at yourself honestly and say, hey, I have a problem with dating or I have a problem with the way I spend my money or I have a problem with my career. And the reason it's so hard to do is because your ego gets in the way. And that's why so many guys struggle to look at themselves honestly and admit when they need help. But in order to solve the problem, you gotta first recognize that you have one or you can never get the process started, right? It's like they say with alcoholics, the first step to quitting is to admitting you have a problem and stopping the denial. So yeah, a lot of times I'll hear guys say, oh yeah, like I'm okay with girls, like maybe I'm not quite where I wanna be, but it's not really a big deal, like it's not really an issue. And I'm like, man, listen, like if you're not happy with your dating life and you're not getting the girls that you want consistently, then it is a problem. Like your dating life is a pretty big aspect of your life and the women that are around you are gonna have an influence on you. So if you don't get that solved to, you know, almost an 100% level to where you're happy with it, that's not good. And it's okay to not quite be where you wanna be at, whether again, it be your dating life, your career or whatever, that is when you can say, okay, what, where do I wanna be? And what are the steps that I need to take to get there? Otherwise, you're just gonna keep brushing it under the rug and it's gonna be that problem that kind of controls you from behind the scenes. And that is the recipe for a miserable life. I talk to guys every single week about improving their lifestyle, improving their dating life, improving their career, all that type of stuff. And one of the most common things I hear back from them is, you know what, Dave, I think I can figure this out on my own. And honestly, when I hear that, it's one of the most wild things because it basically saying, you know what, Dave, I'm pretty much never gonna figure this out and I'm okay with it. It's actually funny, every time I hear a guy tell me he's gonna do it on his own instead of take a course or you know get mentored or that type of thing, I'll actually mark it on my calendar and hit him up like eight to 12 months later and be like, hey bro, how's everything going? And about 99% of the time, he's in a worse off position than he was when we first talked. See, over the past few years, my mindset has been why well, try to figure things out on my own when I know there's people out there who've already figured it out and can show me the way? That way I can save a ton of time and frustration and actually enjoy the process of trying to improve on whatever skill or thing I'm trying to learn at that point in time instead of struggling through it for years. I actually wish I had this mindset a lot earlier, like even in my late teens, especially when it comes to dating and business, because if I had that mindset, I would have improved a hell of a lot more quickly rather than wait years to get where I wanted to get. And that's why right now, I spend tens of thousands of dollars every single year on mentorship because it has a huge ROI for me and it helps me get to where I wanna go so much faster. Now for you, whether it be through some sort of mentorship, through course material, through books, through people that you've met who know their shit, you gotta make it a point to meet these types of people, find these types of resources, and use them to your advantage. There's no reason you need to try to figure this stuff out on your own, bro. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. It's already been done before. Go out there, enjoy your life, find the processes that work, and put them into action. That's how you really level up. Sometimes it can feel like the entire world is against you and there's nothing you can do to get out of like the pit that you're stuck in. And 
that's how I felt for a large portion of my life, especially in middle school and even my early years of high school. It's really tempting for me to just say, you know what, I'm gonna give up control. There's nothing I can do here to kind of dictate my own success. I'm just gonna take what life gives me and hope for the best. Luckily, somewhere along the line, I realized that was bullshit and you can take the reins and direct your own success, no matter what excuses you've had in your past. And I still see this all the time with guys in the comments saying, oh, like I'm not attractive enough or I don't have any money or this or that. I have all these reasons why I can't succeed and get the life that I want. So I might as well just give up. I'm stuck and there's no way out. But you gotta remember, as long as you're alive, there's a way forward. There's a way to make something work. There is a way to make the most of what life gives you and take those reins. But the big thing you have to do is stop letting yourself off the hook with excuses. It doesn't matter how true you perceive the excuse to be. It doesn't matter what it is. You can overcome it but stop rationalizing and letting yourself off the hook because you're never gonna work as hard to improve things if you have that out, that way, that reason why you can't become who you wanna be. If and when you can let those things go, that's how you can start paving your path forward. This is one of the biggest lies in the book. I'll start tomorrow. Really, that means you're never gonna start at all and you're always gonna be a day late, right? Whether it be the diet, the business, the dating life, the career, starting tomorrow is never gonna happen. I remember for me when I was first trying to start an online business back in my early 20s, I really didn't know how to get started. I was trying to like figure things out and I wasted a lot of time just trying to like think through shit and saying, you know what? This is a little too complicated for me right now. I'll get on this tomorrow. Right now, I'm just gonna play a little Madden and chill out. But this actually led to a lot of frustration early on and it led me to have to stick with shitty jobs that I was not a fan of for a lot longer than I should've. Like, I, when I was a door-to-door -door sales guy, I wanted to quit that job basically from the day that I got it, but I just wasn't quite sure how I'd get the online business rolling and I kept procrastinating on it, so I ended up having to stick with that job for like 10 months. Instead of swirling all these thoughts around your mind and having the start seem so ambiguous and hard to get with, what you wanna do instead is break things down into easily digestible bits, right? So that you can actually go out there and say, all right, today I'm gonna take these steps. So for example, if you wanna learn a monetizable skill, you can say, okay, today I'm going to read three chapters of this marketing book and I'm going to join a few Facebook groups and even start looking for potential jobs within it. I'm gonna get the ball rolling here even if I feel like I might not be ready. Or if you see that hot girl walking by, instead of saying, you know what, I'm gonna go talk to a hot girl if I see her tomorrow, you wanna say, all right, if I see a hot girl, I'm just gonna go up and ask her for directions, just getting that social ball rolling so that I can start progressing. Cause hey, that might be all the momentum you need to really get things rolling and really start making big progress in these different areas of your life. And it's also gonna make you the type of dude who starts shit, who does what he says he's gonna do, and that, is a powerful thing. So when it comes to making a big change, a lot of people feel like they have no time on the short term scale, but all the time in the world on a longer term scale. They'll be like, you know what? Like my schedule is a little bit too much today. I can't handle it. I'll do it tomorrow. Like we just talked about. Then all of a sudden, 10 years passes by and they're still in the same place. Let's be real, not having enough time is some big time bullshit. Again, back when I was that door-to-door -door guy, I used to go to work from like 9 a.m. I wouldn't get home until like 9 p.m. And I would still make it a point to try to improve with girls, to read some marketing books, to try to like at least build the foundations of some type of online skill so that I could build towards the lifestyle that I wanted. It was difficult, but I knew at the time that that was the only real path forward for me. But you gotta understand that nothing is going to change unless you make change a priority. And that means you gotta start using your time more wisely. So instead of doing things like playing video games, smoking a bunch of weed, eating a bunch of junk food, going out drinking for like the wee hours of the, of the night, you wanna spend your time more wisely by doing things like learning a monetizable skill, hitting the gym, eating healthy, and sleeping well. 
and of course also improving your communication skills so you can level up in these different areas and then also level up in your dating and your social life too and continue making great connections. And the best way to give yourself more time is to start tracking how you spend your time. So every single Sunday, you should track down what you're gonna be doing each day throughout the week. You don't have to do it hour by hour, but just kind of have like a general big picture idea of the things you have to be doing each day. So you know, okay, Tuesday and Thursday and maybe Friday, I'm gonna set aside time for these priorities and I'm gonna get it done. Now man, if you can start being honest with yourself about these lies, that's how you can start moving forward in all these different areas of your life. Now, if you want more tips on how to be a more confident man, make sure to check out this playlist right here. Let's keep it going. I'll see you right there, homie.